Okay, so today I've got a couple of um, adapters, steering wheel adapters, so I can fit an aftermarket steering wheel on my Jaguars. So this, I can't remember which one's with. Okay, so this one, Flash Power 6356B, that's for anything 1974 and earlier, so the Series 1. And then you have the 6357B for the Series uh, 2 and Series 3, so... 75 and up uh, they are quite a bit different so yeah don't think you can get one and, and the other the not only the size of the adapter but also the spline you know the shaft for the steering wheel is completely different meaning it's larger actually they're quite similar but it is larger on the uh, series one than it is on the series two or three these apparently will work with S XJS. I don't have an XJS, only a, a Series 1 and a Series 3 uh, XJ6. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and we'll try to fit it on. I've got uh, my Series 3 right here where I actually got everything apart. Steering wheel already off. Uh, there's other videos that can show you how to do this, but essentially it's just the steering wheel came off and then I pulled out the horn up. Uh, basically the long button that goes inside the shaft. Same thing with the Series 1. I've got this pulled out. Sorry for the light. But uh, as you can see, same exact thing. I went ahead and pulled. I adjusted the steering wheel all the way out so the shaft is pulled out as far as you can. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, so what you get here is basically the adapter itself. Take a look here. It's uh, heavy, looks like uh, some sort of metal. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what this other stuff is. There's like another piece that actually goes on top of here. And then this, I think this has to do with the horn. Not really sure how that applies to the Jag, but it's there. That's all you get in the box, and this is, again, this is the Series 3, so it's, uh, actually, I'll put, it, put them right next to each other. So this was the Series 1, you can see, Series 1 is quite a bit longer, Series 1, Series 2, 3. And then you can look inside, you can get the lighting here, and you can see this the shaft size, the spline <clears throat> for the steering wheel shaft is much smaller on the Series 2 3 versus the Series 1. But other, other than that, I mean, you can see they fit the exact same size steering wheels. Actually, they look like they're a little bit different color, too. It's not just the camera. This one is actually a little darker than this one. Not sure why, but anyway, let's go ahead and try to. Put this on and see how it works. <clears throat> all right. So all you have to do is you shouldn't have to pound this on or anything like that. As you can see, I've still got everything there. It should just slip right on. And when you get it on, actually you can't really see that but the shaft should stick out enough so you can get the nut on, the retaining nut, <clears throat> which it definitely does not. It, and you shouldn't have to push it, pound it, knock on it, anything. It really should just slide right on, just like the steering wheel does, slides on and off. This one, it's not going on. So there's no uh, special keyway on this. It, sh it, it should just fit on any old way. Um, you should be able to line it up however you want, and it definitely I mean, I'm not it is not going on at all. So this seems like it's defective. Um, all right, well. I guess I'll get back to the seller and see what the deal is. This is from eBay, by the way. We'll go ahead and try the Series 1 now. There, let's see, here we go. The Series 1. Again, doesn't really matter which way you put it on there. 
I mean, it might once you get the steering wheel on and you know, get it lined up correctly. Okay, so this one's on, and I've got enough room to get the retaining nut on there, so that's good. Um, but it's not tight. So as you can see here, the shaft is not moving and it should be snug. It shouldn't, you should have no play in it. But there's definitely, you know, 16th of an inch or whatever on the outer. So by the time you get the steering wheel on there, you'll have this big, you'll have a big clunk, 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 you know, um, and that's not good. So this one is definitely out of spec. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So I'm hoping these are just, you know, a couple manufacturing defects or something, and I can get this taken care of right away. But yeah, that's that's not okay. All right.